What's up, everybody? Jason here for JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. We just sold out another second, uh, another six box break of 2022 Mosaic Football. Remember, six box half case break, pick number 12. This is the second half of the case. And here we go, guys. So, there's the names there. Last spot mojo is Douglas getting the Colts. All the way down to Steve Locke and the Commanders. Alright, and then, I'm right, just kind of doodled on that. Just let you guys know it's from the same case. Let's rock and roll, guys. So, we do have another break lined up after this. We're going to go to a quick little one-box break of NT Collegiate Football. And then, that'll give us enough time to potentially do the Choice Edition of Mosaic, which actually released today. Didn't get too much in initially today. We might be getting more in, so, you know, look out for potential. I'm not saying there will be, but it could be, more, like, pick your team versions of it if... We do get more, but for now, we only got a little bit in uh, between personals and uh, YouTube, so uh, we're only doing a little two-box breaks, but that break is pretty much like more than halfway there. I think it was down to like three or four left. Yeah, four left, so if we can fill it up by uh, by the end of uh, NT Collegiate number, number two, you can squeeze it in right there at that last... Uh, 15, 20 minutes of the of the stream, and then be back tomorrow. All right, here we go. First one is James Robinson autograph for the Jaguars going to Douglas. That was one of the last few teams remaining. Kenny Galladay for the Giants to 99. We got a Cooper Cup, Aaron for the Rams, montage to 99. Sauce Gardner. Oh, actually, I gotta bring it off the other. And a David Ojabo. A little white color match to 25. And a Derek Stingley Jr. Nice one there for the Houston Texans. Ron. To 99. And actually, look at that. A little jersey number 24 of 99. A little eBay 101. All right, next one.
All right, next one. And nice John Mechie. Nice break for the Houston Texans. That is uh, 3 out of 15, and hopefully he makes a speedy recovery. I know with the, the Kimmy, he's going to be out for a little bit, but hopefully soon. Uh, Houston going to run. Kyler Gordon. Chicago Burrs. Going to Alex. Yeah, man, I wonder what those tessellations will go for, actually. For, like, the right players, you know? And Vilas Jones Jr., a little uh, Bears autograph box. Nice George Pickens uh, blue to 99. Steelers, Michael Gallucci. And an overdrive to 49, Jerome Bettis. Another one there for the Steelers. Malik Willis red. Jahan Dotson Blue Chips. Britton Brown, Raiders, Nicholas Johns. Nice Brock Purdy. So I, I thought someone had said like his base for like 50, 60 bucks. His mosaic silvers might be over a hundred. That's the case. Nice one there for Victor. That's his second one. Isaac Bruce to ninety nine.
Nice, Kavion Thibodeau. Dude's a baller. Pro Doug, baby. 15 out of 49. That's going to go to the Giants and Ryan. Just picked up that team not too long ago. And how about an autograph to go with that? Kavion Thibodeau. Mosaic Auto. Dude was a stud at Oregon. Starting to finally pick it up here in the NFL as well in his rookie year. Lave. We have not got a dazzle, glass, anything like that, no. That I know of, no. I know for sure not in the first half, and we haven't seen one here in the second half. So, could be hiding in those three boxes. Steven, uh... Actually, you know what? I didn't even see that in real time, and I didn't see that till like, I think like the end of the night when people were talking about it on Twitter, honestly. I was really busy that day, so I just, uh, you know, saw my Eagles game in the morning, and I didn't really pitch into anything else, and then I just got super busy. But, um, I don't know if, because it kind of happened really fast, right? He hit him, he rolled over. And then he started doing the snow angel, right? So I don't know. I think in real time, I don't know if he really realized that Nick Foles was hurt. Because it's not like it's your reaction to go, like, look at the quarterback and potentially, you know, pick him up or anything like that. But, um, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I love the dude, but I just remember his press conference after and it was like, I don't know. He, I, I, <laughs> he was talking about, like, he didn't even know who, like, the coach was, right? Because obviously... Uh, Colts coach is a former player. I don't think he's in the Hall of Fame, right? But probably could be if he's not. But yeah, he's just like, I don't know who he is. So I don't care who judges me, blah, blah, blah. But obviously, I think you have to put a little respect. But yes, I think if anything, what he was trying to say is that like the O line should have done something, right? If that was the case. Um, but yeah, I'm sure if I was a Colts fan, I'd be really pissed. But I was just thinking of like the, I just thinking of, of how fast it happened. It's not like he hit him, he was looking at him, taunting him, and then decided to do a snow angel. I feel like it was just kind of like hit him, rolled over, did a snow angel. And then at the same time, you know, obviously, all falls was hurting. But, I mean, I don't know. He's a young kid. I'm sure he's going to learn from that. But you know, people were, I know people were a lot big upset. But yeah, that's where the linemen should have done something, right? I don't know. Kind of, I can see why people are upset, but it's not like uh, it's personally gonna like you know hurt me per se. But uh, we'll see. I mean, I don't know. Maybe bad karma comes his way. I don't know. Desmond Ritter to forty nine. But I think Nick Foles will be okay though. Right? I think it wasn't like the craziest thing. Robert Smith, not the uh, singer from The Cure, Robert Smith, right? Yeah. I don't know. I didn't see it in real time, and I don't know how to react to it. I just noticed that people were talking about it, and I was like, oh, shit. What the fuck? Like, what the hell happened here? But, yeah. I'm a, it'll probably be a little mixed for me. I probably don't feel the way I should, because he was an ex duck but... You know, maybe karma will come as well, like I said. I don't know. Or next game, if somebody sees that, then, I don't know, maybe they, uh, they punk him a little bit. I don't know.
But man, Nick Foles, all right, has had the craziest up and down career like ever in the NFL. Probably not even the NFL, and just all sports, honestly. Right to ninety nine, Tyquan Th- uh, Thornton. Like this dude, you know, drafted by the Eagles in the second or third round. Not really gonna be the guy, but then gets a chance to be the guy after Vic and has an amazing second year. Right, twenty seven touchdowns, two interceptions. Then the following year, still has a great record, ten and six, but kind of gets injured and I think breaks his collarbone or ribs or something. I believe with the Eagles back in twenty fourteen. Then they killed that dream, trade him to the Rams, 45 out of 49. Gets into a QB battle with, like, Case Keenum. And I want to say I think loses that battle or he gets even traded. Then goes to Kansas City, or actually contemplates retirement, honestly. And then, you know, Andy Reid calls him up and says, hey, man, we'd love to you to join our team and give it a shot at being our backup and blah, 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 right? Then becomes a backup for Alex Smith. And the Chiefs. And then all of a sudden re-signs with the Eagles on a two-year deal just to be the backup to Wentz. And then, you know, steps in for Wentz's injury, wins the Super Bowl, Super Bowl MVP. (laughs) And then it's like he's still not the starter, so he has to go back to being on the bench. But then, unfortunately, Wentz suffers another injury, season-ending injury. Has to come in and step up and wins another playoff game, potentially winning another uh, back-to-back two games in a row. I mean, they, if they would have beat the Saints that year, if it wasn't for Alshon Jeffrey dropping that ball in the Saints divisional game, they would have played the Rams, and I guarantee you they would have beat the Rams. And they would have went back to the Super Bowl and played against the Patriots. would have been wild. And then, yeah, after that, gets a big contract with the Jaguars. All right, Dawson Knox there for Jeffrey. Thinking he's finally going to... Be the guy for a team, and like week one breaks his ribs or collarbone again, and then Gardner Minshew takes over. <laughs> what a crazy career! It's just such a roller coaster. Then gets traded to the Bears, I think it was right. Gets a chance at the Bears, doesn't work out there. Now he's a Colt. Man. It's a, it's a it's an amazing career, honestly. So up and down, like legit. It's it's very unique career that I don't know if anybody will ever replicate again. But hey, won a Super Bowl, Super Bowl MVP, played lights out, and uh, at the end of the day, I mean. He still has been in the league for almost 10 years, so I'm sure he'll get a pension. And yeah, I mean, I'm sure when he's looking back at it, he still had a hell of a career. <laughs> I'm sure one he wishes could have been better, but he had his moments. He got a big contract though with the with the Jaguars. I believe he got like sixty million guaranteed. He signed like a huge contract with the Jaguars that twenty nineteen year. All right, we got Roger McCreary. So he got paid there. He got paid with the Eagles a little bit with the Rams. So I'm sure he's living life great. I think even to be the backer for the Eagles, he got paid like ten million dollars a year. Titans that's going to Sean Maddox. Drake Jackson. And straight fire. Blue. Joe Burrow for the Bengals. Huh? Ritter. Jesse Bates. 
Mac Jones. Yes, he can always say that. And, and honestly, he Brady had an amazing day that, day that year in the Super Bowl. I mean, he think he broke like, the Super Bowl record for yards, but I still think you know Tom. I mean, uh, I still think uh, Nick Foles kind of outplayed him in that sense. Crazy to say that, but yeah. And honestly, I think there was a couple times where Brady could have shook Nick Foles' hand years uh, games after that and never did. So if anything, Tom Brady wants that one back. That was a fun Super Bowl. I know the Eagles were in it. You know, obviously, I love that they won, but that was a really fun Super Bowl just to rewatch over and over again because it was just so much scoring. So much scoring. Gronkowski had a day that year. Nobody can cover Gronkowski on the Eagles that that day, that day. If anything, the only person that got knocked out of that game, I literally knocked out, was uh, Braden Cooks. On like early in the game too, Malcolm Jenkins, oh, just popped him. And it was legal too. It was a legal hit, but. That was actually a very sad year, though, for Vikings fans, honestly. Vikings, they get that, they win that miracle, you know, over the Saints, and then just get blown out by the Eagles. I have a buddy of mine that's a huge Vikings fan, and he hates me. Well, he hates the Eagles, but he hates me, too. And I wasn't talking smack or anything like that. It's just, he just hates the Eagles, which also has to hate me. And then, just to top it all off, the Eagles win a Super Bowl in Minnesota. <laughs> Sad times. Uh. I hope you guys do win one day, though, Steve. You guys have had gone through so much disappointment, honestly. That's one team that deserves to win a Super Bowl is the Vikings. <laughs> Alrighty, here we go, last box, and let's get some case hits here. Because if not, then this case was a little different from others. Mac Jones, JJ Watt, calling it quits. Cardinals to 99. Blue, Marcus Valdez Scanlon to 99. Jake Ferguson autograph. Kind of odd. It's kind of streaky. Looks like his pen was running out or something. All right, one more autograph on the second half, and then potentially whatever else is here. The montage was backwards, that was weird. Cooper Cup Swagger. Wow, we actually hit a Brock Purdy! Well, maybe because we got some nice hits throughout the case, maybe we won't see a case hit. Not that Panini knew Brock Purdy would be a big hit, but... Brock Purdy for the 49ers. There you go, Mike, uh, Victor.
Wow, I guess no case hits, or at least the shorter print case hits. We did get a ton of tessellations, and we got some honeycomb. So technically, I guess honeycomb is technically a case hit, though, Steve. Honestly, we got two of those. Technically. But none of, like, the insert ones, at least. Alrighty, folks. Well, McCreary Auto, Devontae Wyatt, Jake Ferguson, Dawson Knox to 49, Desmond Ritter Purple to 49, Robert Smith, Tyquan Thornton, 99, Britton Brown, Brock Purdy, Kayvon Thibodeau, uh, Purple to 49, an autograph, Mechie to 15, Tessellation, Gordon, Vilas Jones, James Robinson, Stingley, Jersey number to 99, and how about a little Brock Purdy? So there you go, folks. That was the break number 12. Uh, we don't have no more Mosaic Hobby, but we do have Mosaic Choice if you guys want to run that. But appreciate it, guys. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.